Good morning, Castic, and happy Friday. I hope everyone had a great week back. My name is Izzy Calibran Tribble, and welcome to GMC's 15th episode of the year. Today, we have some exciting segments for you, including a story on how football has had to adapt during this time and how people have been using ASMR to help them during quarantine. Get ready because Good Morning Castic starts right now. Wake up for an adventure, coyotes, and happy holidays with this episode's host, Izzy Calibran Tribble and special reports by Xander Grable, Henry Swindell, Christopher Casey, Jamie Lee Hyde, Brady Petit, and Haley Federico. Remember, this is Good Morning Castaic! As we have recently been doing school online, classes aren't the only things that have had to adapt to safety protocols. High school sports programs across the U.S. have been trying to maintain some sense of normalcy. As GMC's Brady Petit reports, our Coyotes are trying hard to keep their skills and their spirits up. So much has been different about the 2020 school year due to the restrictions placed on us by the coronavirus. One thing many people in Santa Clarita have been missing is Friday Night Lights. I was able to catch up with Coach Tony and learn how he and the Coyote football team have been adapting to the current restrictions. Yeah, it's been really tough, I'm not going to lie. Um, there's a lot of restrictions, a lot of things that we can and can't do. Uh, trying to follow all of those rules is very hard for a football program or for any sports program. Uh, but we do the best we can with, uh, with what they let us do. So the kids look like they're having fun out here and, and really that's what it's all about. It's a new year and not only are there new COVID-19 restrictions to work around, but this is the first year that freshmen and sophomores will be working together. Yeah, it's been uh, actually really exciting to get these kids on uh, campus and let them, uh, you know, get out here and run around and warm up and practice and do those type of things. Uh, last year, we finished the season with 24 kids, and uh, right now we have more than that out here, and uh, we're missing a bunch of kids. I think we have 55 kids total uh, signed up for the football program this year. So, yeah, it's really exciting to get both of them on uh, campus together. Uh, I think it's pretty cool because I get more experience with the older guys. So since I'm a freshman, I know what to expect when I'm a sophomore. So it's a pretty good experience. Even with the uncertainty of the upcoming season, Coach Tony is optimistic about the future. Best case scenario would be us starting to play football games starting in February. Worst case scenario, they don't let us play a season at all. And we just move on to um, August 2021 and hopefully be able to play a season if things go somewhat back to normal. Regardless of how the season goes, the players and coaches have set goals for themselves and the team. Uh, the first one would be play. Uh, <laughs> we still don't know whether we're going to have a season or not, but we are practicing uh, like we will have a season. Uh, we're hoping to have a season start uh, sometime in February. Uh, that's still to be determined. Uh, but the goals were to be better than you were last year, and last year we only won two games. Um, <laughs> But uh, we're starting to build a program, and the, the better we are at building the program, uh, the better the kids will be, and obviously the record will uh, show for itself. Um, I'm always just trying to get better and be better than last year. Um, as a team, we're just trying to win some games and build from there, really. I'm trying to get everybody else better, build everybody better, yeah. All in all, the Coyote football team is happy to be on campus practicing and is looking forward to whatever season they may have. You can support the Coyotes by looking out for football fundraisers by checking the athletics page on the Castaic High School website. That's all for now. I'm Brady Petit, reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Thanks, Brady, and to all the sports teams, keep up the great work. As we near the end of the semester, it is becoming more important to check our grades. That's why today we have a quick tech tip by Chris Casey on just that. Hello there Coyotes, welcome back to another quick tech tip. Obviously with grades being due soon and with us having to be getting our report cards, how are you able to view those report cards when they come out? Well, let me show you how you're able to view them. Obviously first you have to go to your Google homepage, go to the top right where it has the little waffle pattern, go ahead and click that and then scroll down and see, see a little brown box that says Infinite Campus. Click that, and if you don't already have it logged in or you have to log in, just put in your login information. Then you go to the left, press Documentation, and then you'll see Past, Previous, Progress, and Report Cards. Let's, for example, press this one right here. Depending on what computer you have, it will either do a pop-up or it'll go to a different tab. 
So here's some examples for a report card. And that's how you view your report cards. Well, that was my quick tech tip of how to view your report cards when they come out. My name is Christopher Casey, reporting for Good Morning Castaic. Stay safe. Thanks for the tip, Chris. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Sometimes things can get pretty stressful during quarantine. Today, Jamie Lee Hyde gives us some insight on how people are using ASMR videos to help them during quarantine. And at the end of the day, I will use the... Cosette Hauer is a ninth grader here at Castaic High School with a not-so-secret hobby of being an ASMR YouTuber. Cosette has almost 75,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel, Flower ASMR. I loved YouTube. I, I always watched it when I was younger, and I started by making a little vlogging channel, and then it just, um, you know, went to others, like, things. So I made uh, an ASMR channel. I picked ASMR because it helped me when I was really stressed out, and... I thought it would be, like, a fun thing to do to help others. And it started out as, like, a hobby, but now it's more of a career. ASMR, or autonomous sensory meridian response, is a relaxing sensation that moves throughout the body. It is also known as a brain massage, and is triggered by certain sounds such as whispers, clicking noises, and crackles. Scientists in 2018 found evidence suggesting watching or listening to different types of ASMR can slow your heart rate leading to a state of relaxation or calm. Not, it's not for everybody, that's for sure. But for the people who are open to trying it and do like it, I think it could be very beneficial for sleeping. If you, you know, I had a lot of trouble sleeping when I had my anxiety. So it, you know, it helps for sleeping. And there's also a positive side of ASMR that can help with like depression. And just... In this crazy time we're living in, we could all use a little bit of calming. If you're interested, you can subscribe to Cosette's YouTube channel at Flower ASMR. For Good Morning Castaic, this has been Jamie Lee Hyde. Bye, flowers. Wow, I'll definitely have to check that out. Before I move on, Xander Grable has a few announcements for us. Let's take a look. Hey, coyotes. I'm here today to bring you your daily announcements. So, let's hop right in. The National Honor Society interest forms have been sent out to sophomores who have a 3.5 GPA or higher. If this applies to you, please check your Heart District email for the form and more information. Interest forms must be returned by December 7th at 3 p.m. Now that that is out of the way, it's time for some meeting dates for some of our clubs. Join our club every Monday at 1 p.m. to chat and play Among Us. Castaic Debate Club meets every Tuesday from 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Zoom. The Castaic Journalism Club meets every Thursday at 1 p.m. on Zoom. Castaic High School's Anime Club is back. Join us every Friday from 1 p.m. to 1.40 p.m. on Zoom as we enjoy all the anime has to offer. Join Castaic's Red Cross Club. Meetings will be held once a month during lunch. The upcoming lunch date is December 11th. Hey, that's my birthday. Next up is some news from our ASB. To celebrate this winter season, ASB is holding its very first holiday coloring contest and cookie decorating contest. Read the flyer on screen for more information to enter for an awesome prize. As for our spring semester, a new elective is opening. Yes I Can is an elective designed to build and enhance social and emotional learning. Email Mrs. Kennedy, Mrs. Kazan, or Mr. Hodge to join the class for spring 2021. Well, this just about does it for our announcements today. See you next time, coyotes. Moving on, we have a segment on holiday movies. As the winter season approaches, people begin to watch their favorite holiday movies once again. Today, Haley Federica brings us the best of these movies to watch on Netflix. Hi guys, I'm Haley, and today I'm going to give you the best Christmas movies to watch on Netflix. Our first movie is The Christmas Chronicles. If you haven't seen The Christmas Chronicles, it's basically about how siblings Kate and Teddy Pierce hatch a scheme to capture Santa Claus on Christmas Eve. When the plan goes wrong, the kids join forces with somewhat jolly Saint Nick and his loyal elves to save the holiday before it's too late. Our next movie is The Christmas Chronicles 2. This one is about how teenager Kate Pierce is reunited with Santa Claus when a troublemaker threatens to cancel Christmas forever. Our next movie is How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the live action and the animated one. I don't really need to explain this one. Spoiler alert, The Grinch Steals Christmas. Disclaimer, the next few movies are basically Hallmark movies, but what's Christmas without a good Hallmark movie, right? Okay. 
Our next movie is a Netflix original called Let It Snow. This one is about how a snowstorm hits a small midwestern town on Christmas Eve, bringing together a group of high school students. They soon find their friendships and love lives colliding. In Christmas morning, nothing will be the same. Our next movie is also a Netflix original called The Holiday. This one is about how two strangers are fed up with being single on the holidays. Then they agree to become each other's platonic plus ones all year long, only to catch real feelings along the way. Okay, well that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a great Christmas and I will see you next time. Thanks Haley! I'll definitely be watching my favorite this weekend, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. As the holiday season approaches, we also get colder weather. Let's jump over to Henry Sundell for our weather this week. Hi Coyotes, Henry Sundell here with the weather. Let's take a look. Winds should die down this weekend to give us a sunny Saturday with highs in the mid 70s and a low of 48. Sunday will be sunny with a high of 75 and a nighttime low of 49. Monday will bring mainly sunny skies with a high near 75 and lows around 52. Tuesday will be another sunny day with a high around 77 and a low of 53. More sunny skies on Wednesday with another high of 77 and nighttime temperatures around 50. Thursday will be sunny again with a high of 72, then dipping into the low 40s at night. Next Friday will not break the streak of sunny skies with a high of 68, dropping into the 40s again at night. Looks like a great week ahead. Back to you. Thanks, Henry. That just about wraps up our show for today. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at GMCastic, where you can find exclusive content that you might not see on our shows. Also, don't forget that next week is our last show for the semester. Thanks for tuning in, Coyotes, and have a great weekend. Bye!